Together we pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For our faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For our hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Glorious Mystery The Resurrection Fruit of the Mystery Faith Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Second Glorious Mystery, The Ascension Fruit of the Mystery, Hope, Desire for Heaven Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Third Glorious Mystery, The Descent of the Holy Spirit Fruit of the Mystery, Wisdom and Love of God Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Fourth Glorious Mystery, The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Fruit of the Mystery, Devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The Fifth Glorious Mystery, The Coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary Fruit of the Mystery, Eternal Happiness Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
morning. Good morning and welcome to St. Anthony of Padua as we celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We're happy to see those of you that are here and we welcome those of you joining us online. Those of you that are in the church, we do ask that you take a moment. Please double check your cell phones. Make sure that they're either in the silent mode or they're turned off. Check to see that you don't have any alarms set to go off this morning. At this time, we do ask that you please stand to join in our prayer for peace. Lord, Lord make, make me an, an instrument, instrument of your peace. peace. Where, where there is, is hatred, hatred, let me sow love. Where, where there, there is injury, harm. pardon. Where, where there, there is, is doubt, faith. Where there, there is despair, hope. Where, where there is darkness, light. light. Where, where there, there is sadness, joy. joy. O oh, divine, divine Master, grant that, that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Our celebrant this morning is Father Cam, and our gathering song is Mary First Among Believers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My beloved friends, it is New Year, 1st of January. It is by God's grace that we are here. It is not by power, it's not by might, it's not because we are righteous, it's because of God's grace. And therefore, as we begin this new year, I pray for every one of you at this Mass. And what a beautiful way to begin that the Mother Church wants us to begin with our Blessed Mother, who celebrates today Mary, the Mother of God. But she's not just the Mother of God, she's also your mom. She is my mom. And we ask her to journey with us this year, to intercede with us, that we will encounter grace and mercy. And therefore, I pray for every one of you at this Mass that our blessed Lord will give you all the necessary graces, all the necessary strength you need to pilot the affairs of this year. Let us pause for a moment. Recall our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grants we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been taught them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been taught to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus. The name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. morning to you, my friends, and Happy New Year to you once again. Thank you. We celebrate today Mary, the mother of God. Just by way of information, there are four basic doctrinal teachings about Mary. Dogmatic teachings are the central elemental teachings of the Catholic Church that are binding and unchanging. So why there are so many teachings about Mary, there are only four of them that are dogmatic. Number one is what we celebrate today, that Mary is the mother of God. It was defined in the year 431 AD. The second dogmatic teaching is perpetual virginity, that Mary was virgin before, during, and after birth. She's ever virgin. The third is the immaculate conception, that Mary was conceived without original sin. And the fourth is the assumption that after she has finished her earthly life, Mary was taken into heaven, body, and soul. 
Just for you to know, for those who have forgotten, to remind you, those are the four dogmatic teachings about Mary. They cannot change. They are perpetual, they are revealed, and they are true. But today I want us to concentrate on what we celebrate. Mary, the mother of God. Simply put, because Jesus is God, and Mary is his mother. Therefore, Mary is the mother of God. It sounds simple, but it wasn't simple when it was defined. In fact, it was defined because enemies were denying it. The enemies of the church were saying that Mary was the mother of Jesus, not the mother of God. But the church has defined it. And I don't, have, I don't believe there is anybody here who has doubt that Mary is the mother of God. If there is such a person, you can meet me in the office, we can talk about it. But this morning, this morning, I want to talk about the motherhood of Mary as an intercessor. Because when you look at the life and the ministry of Mary, that is one aspect that is very profound. Mary as an intercessor. But let's look at again the word intercessor. What does it mean? When somebody says, I am interceding for you, what does he or she mean? Intercession means to stand in the gap for somebody and with persuasive and persistent appeal to a superior to grant favor to the person you stand for. In other words, if I am interceding for you, I am taking your position, and I am appealing to somebody else persistently, consistently to grant you a favor. That is intercession. That's what it means, to stand in the gap. And intercession, actually, is an offshoot of our human makeup. Because as persons, we are naturally created to be interrelational. Man, by nature, is a social being. We are so created and wired by God that it is made in such a way that the strong ones will help the weak. The bright ones will help the dull ones. The very prayerful ones will help those who are not able to pray. So there is intermingling of relationship. Nobody is an island. I am important here because you are here. You are important because we celebrate the Mass. If you are not here, I will be useless. So there is always the need. I am because you are. That is how we are made. That is how our nature is. And so that is where intercession comes in, that there are sometimes God uses the prayer of a brother or a sister to bless someone else. And to tell you how powerful it is, let's get to the scriptures. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 30, God said, when he wanted to destroy the people because of their sins, he said, I looked for somebody who would build a wall and stand in the gap and appeal to me not to destroy them, but I didn't find any. I looked for an intercessor, somebody, a good person who would stand on behalf of the wicked and appeal to me not to destroy them. Intercession is very powerful. You know, sometimes we don't know that the reason why we are still existing as a country, moving on, is because some people are really praying and standing in the gap. Some families are surviving because some persons are standing in the gap. It's very powerful. In the book of Genesis, chapter 18, Abraham interceded for Sodom and Gomorrah. If you go back, read that dialogue between Abraham and God. Abraham says to God, if you find 50 people who are righteous, are you going to destroy them? God said, no. Abraham said, wow. What if they are 30? God said, no. Abraham said, I am winning. What if they are 10? God said, no. Abraham said, there is no how there will not be at least 10 persons who are good in Sodom and Gomorrah. But he was wrong. When God eventually went to Sodom, there was nobody who was good, and that was why he was destroyed. That is the power of intercession. In today's first reading, God says to Moses, speak to Aaron that when he exercises his ministry as a priest, he will bless my people this way. And God mentioned those powerful blessings. And every ordained priest enjoys a lineage from Aaron to Jesus Christ. 
as unworthy as I am, I also enjoy the same lineage. And therefore, standing before you this morning, I say the same prayer that God says we should say over you. And I proclaim it again loud to your hearing. May God bless you. I wish I can get an amen. May God bless you. May God protect you. May God make his face shine upon you. That amen is not very strong, but it's very important we say it. Because if God has to bless us, we must be disposed to receive the blessing. Amen means I, I agree. It means I accept. And I am fulfilling what God has said I should do. But whether you said yes or not, I know God is going to bless you this year. Because I have said it from here. Now let us look at the power of Mary and intercession. If intercession means standing on the gap and calling down blessings and prayer upon people, where does our blessed mother come into this? Mary enjoys the powerful privilege of intercession on two founded privileges. First is her role as the mother of God. And I want you to pay attention to this. Because this is the central privilege that is bigger than any other. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verse 41 down, downwards, Elizabeth said of Mary, how can this happen to me that the mother of my God should come to me? Now, remember, Mary at this point was just about 18 years old. Elizabeth was more than 70 years old. But she understood that the status have changed. This is not a little girl who comes to my house. This is the mother of my God. She recognizes that this woman has been exalted. And Mary knew that very well. And that was why, immediately after the interaction with Elizabeth, Mary says, my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has lifted me up. From now onwards, all generations will call me blessed. That's what she said. Go back to the scripture and read it very well. Mary understood it very well, that she has that role as the mother of God. Now, the second advantage, the second position comes from the first. Because she is the mother of God, Mary is the only creature who has a maternal influence over Jesus. Nobody else could have that. And those of you who are mothers here, you know what I mean. Mary has a maternal influence. And if you look at the communication between Mary and Jesus in the Bible, it differs from communication between Jesus and the apostles. Let's get back to the first miracle of Jesus. In John chapter 2, they were invited for a wedding banquet. And Mary, our blessed mother, could see there was a danger coming. Their wine was running short. She went to Jesus. What did she say? Just four words. They have no wine. She didn't say, son, can we talk about this? She didn't say, can I beg you for something? That is a maternal influence. That is a mother talking to a son. They have no wine, period. And what did Jesus do? A normal young man. Oh, why are you disturbing me? It's not yet my time. Who cares if it's your time or not? Mom has spoken. Mom has spoken. Whether it is your time or not, something has to be done. And what did Mary do? Mary knew that Jesus could never say no. He went to the apostles and said to them, when he finished talking, whatever he asked you to do, please do it. And she went and sat down. And Jesus actually said it wasn't his time. And of course, Jesus can never tell a lie. In other words, the first miracle of Jesus was actually done against his own will, but on the pressure put on her by Mary. How many of you here want your miracles to be quicker? Now you have the, you have the, you have the way to go. Mary is the answer to her prayers. Go to her. She insisted that that miracle would be done, and it was done. That is what a mother can do. And the second time, in Luke chapter 2, the Bible told us when Jesus was 12 years old, they had gone to the temple to pray, and they were going back home, and they thought that Jesus was with them. But like any 12-year-old boy, Jesus was actually playing around and went back to the temple and was teaching and praying and counseling. And Mary had walked three days with Joseph. And when they realized that Jesus was not with them, they went back. Three days walked back. And they went to the temple. Mary was very angry with Jesus. Some of you think the Holy Family never had a problem. You are wrong. They had their own challenges. Mary looked at Jesus and said, why have you treated us like this? 
Your father and I have been looking for you. Again, Jesus started his usual ranting. He said, why are you looking for me? Don't you know it is time for me to be in my father's house? But do you know what happened? Look at that scripture. How many of you, you know, as a, as a young boy growing up, I have realized in my experience with my mom, there are so many times my mother spoke without saying a word. Just the eyes. When a mother looks at you, you know whether you are to stay or to run, whether to move or to adjust yourself. And the Bible said, Jesus stood up immediately. And what happened was this. As Jesus said that, Mary looked into his eyes. What are you saying? And Jesus stood up and went home. But do you realize that after that mention, we never heard anything about Jesus until he was 30 years old. We don't know, but perhaps they have gone home and Mary sat him down and said, you're not going to leave this house anymore. This is too much. Stay here. It's not yet your time. For 30 years, we didn't hear anything about Jesus until he began his public ministry. Now, I want you to understand the power of influence that Mary had over Jesus. No doubt, Mary knew that Jesus is his God, but he, she also knew that Jesus is his son, and he was able to blend all that very well. Friends, this is what I want to leave for you today. If Jesus could submit himself for a good 30 years under the obedience and learning and discipline of Mary, and if Jesus hanging on the cross could entrust Mary to John and John to Mary, if we love Jesus, are we not supposed to do the same? Because Mary's influence upon Jesus is amazing. There is no doubt the Immaculate Heart of Mary has a preeminent influence on the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This is very true in every ramification. As true as this is, it's also very true that all of us here, as children of God, has the power to intercede. And that was why in today's second reading, St. Paul tells us that the Spirit of God has been given to us. And the Spirit of God in our heart is what makes us call God Abba Father. What is Abba? Abba is a fond name. It's a name that makes you comfortable before God. That God is not formal to us. He's our friend. He's close to us. St. Paul writing to the Romans in chapter 8 verse 26. St. Paul says it is the Spirit of God that prays through us. And if this is true, then there are two particular realities we need to move this year with. First, is to understand that God's intention is to bless us. No matter what your story of 2022 has been, no matter how rough it has been, I want you to know that God naturally wants you blessed. There is no doubt about that. And if God wants to do this, he has given us enormous instruments. The efficacious intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. If you do not have a devotion to Mary, please renew it. If you do not know how to say your rosary, please learn it. Because I am telling you, with Mary, life is easy. And the second thing is the power each one of us has to pray for one another. In other words, if we can become a praying church, not just for ourselves, but for our brothers and sisters, that somebody is going through difficulties, we take it up to pray. And when we promise people, I will pray for you, we actually keep that promise. For one minute, for two minutes, we pray for one another. Like I said, there are so many blessings God is waiting for you to give to somebody because he wants you to pray for it. If we can begin this way, I have no doubt that this year will be a year of testimonies in our lives because remember, the family that prays together stays together. There is nothing more powerful than prayer when we do it for others and for ourselves. So I pray for you this day. May God, who has promised to bless us, may the same God bless you. May he protect you. May he be above you to envelop you in his love. And may this year be another year of miracle and blessings for you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God.
With the Virgin Mother Mary, we present our needs through Jesus, the Prince of Peace. That Pope Benedict XVI, called to the heavenly kingdom by the Lord, may rejoice forever at the banquet table of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Benedict XVI, who served the church as supreme pontiff for eight years, may worship God forever in the liturgy of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the tireless efforts of Pope Benedict XVI, now called to the Lord, may bear fruit in unity, peace, and love among all men and women. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Benedict XVI, who preached that God is love and that we are saved in hope that he may know God's love forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray at this Mass in a very special way. The awareness that God truly wants to bless us. And sometimes our circumstances and situations may suggest otherwise. They may cloud our reasoning and our thinking. But as we begin this new year, let us pray for the awareness of God's love in us, that he truly wants to bless us, that in fact the past cannot determine the future, that if we can hold on to him in prayer, he can do miracles in our lives. Let us say these prayers in the silence of our heart. For this, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, you sent the word to renew your creation. Help us renew the face of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, 
grants to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in his completion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've heard us worthy. To be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Judge Leo, our bishop, Gregory, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Anthony of Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to life everlasting.
body of Christ. And saved him from all his distress. Not the body of Christ.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow down your heads for special blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessings. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Amen. And Happy New Year to all of you. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel. Yeah.